Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be filling all of my envelopes for March. So this is my March envelope filling video. Don't know what else to call it. Um, but anyway, so this is my budget spread and this is how I figure out exactly like what I'm putting in each envelope. So I have the amount of income that I think that we're going to be making. You want to base this off of like something that's a little less or to normal, not the highest that you think. And then all of the bills, which I did change it up a little bit and I did a little bit higher um, because I realized that last month was not exactly correct. And then I have my envelopes, which I keep. These are the ones that I take with me all the time. If you want to like see an in-depth process, I actually have a whole video about all of my cash envelopes and what the difference between all of them is. So I will link that up here. Um, but yeah, so these envelopes are the ones that I keep with me in my wallet. And then I have my sinking funds. And so these sinking funds in green are ones that I put into like a checking account. So I actually have a PayPal account. Um, that I get income from YouTube and then I just put these in little different goals in my PayPal account um, So that's what those are for and all the other ones are gonna be cash And so I figured out all my cash envelopes I figured out and tallied up exactly what bills I needed and how much you know made sure that that matched and so I went and got all of my Bills. I actually did keep some cash um, from last month instead of like putting it back into the checking account I went ahead and just used it for this month So I only had to get five hundred and ninety dollars out of the checking account because the rest of the money Came from what was left over from all of my envelopes last month. This is what we're going to use to stuff all of our Envelopes. I did want to show you guys that I ended up putting different trackers in my bullet journal because last month I did not get to figure out my budget correctly because I didn't have these trackers and so you definitely want to do this So I did one for checking um, So I'm going to like I took out where I have the envelopes I got $590 out for envelopes and then I did one for cash um, And so here I put $590 into my envelope. So I'm start starting out with $1,587 of cash. Then I have one for PayPal. So I took um, this stuff out of the PayPal account. Um, and so these are all my saving, like some of my sinking funds, like home maintenance is 150, health I'm taking out 100, taxes I'm taking out 50, property tax I'm taking out 35, car maintenance I'm taking out 150, and shipping I'm taking out 25. So that's how I'm figuring all of this stuff out. I have gotten all of my stuff from the budget mom, like including all of the envelopes, and just how I figured out this whole system is from the budget mom here on YouTube, and she has a blog. So in case you, um, you know, wanted to know, that's where I got it from okay so let's pull out these envelopes here and stuff all of our envelopes this all organized okay so according to my bullet journal here you're gonna start out with groceries right here Okay, so for groceries, last month I actually had started with $700 and that was just way too much. Like, I, actually, I'm, I'm glad that I cut down because normally I was spending, you know, at least $700. And then last month I ended up only spending like $350, which is really great. Um, I am going to budget $500 for this month and I don't have any left over because um, I took all of the money out um, of this envelope. So we're going to do, let's see, I did three 100s, two 50s, and five 20s. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is $500 going into my grocery budget. And I'm actually, this is meal planning, March meal planning month. So I'm actually going to be meal planning all month with you guys and doing videos of how I meal plan and saving money. So that's super exciting. I can't wait for that. Okay, so that was our grocery fund. Next, we're doing dining out. And I actually did drop this down. This was at $100 and I dropped it down to 50. Um, we ended up having $30 left last month. We did have Valentine's Day, which is why I had, I had put 100 in here. Oh, I totally forgot to write on the back of the groceries. Hold on. Okay, so today is actually the fourth and I'm gonna call this um, March pay. And so we are adding 
$500 to make this a $500 balance. All right, so that's how you would fill it out, okay? Then for this one, um, yeah, we're only gonna do $50 um, because I, I don't plan on eating out actually at all this month, but just in case. Okay, and for this, I just have one $50 bill that is going in here. And so we're going to say, this is, let's say three, four, and this is March, and we are adding $50 to make this $50. Alrighty, there's that one. Okay, then we have gas which that's the only envelope that I actually kept the rollover. So I budget $40 a month and I did have $25 left over. And so I'm actually rolling it into um, March. So we're gonna already have $25 in here and we're putting two $20 bills. So I already have the 25 in here, obviously, right there. We're gonna add that in, which means that we have $65. Okay, and the reason that I decided to roll over gas is in case we are going on like a trip to Pennsylvania, which is where a lot of my family lives and we live in Virginia, I just thought it would be nice to have extra gas money budgeted for like vacation, any type we're going somewhere, traveling. It's just nice to have that in here already, okay? Then next up is actually Alvin. Uh, I give him $100 to just spend so that way he doesn't have to have these envelopes. He doesn't have to pull out cash from my cash envelope. So his $100 is just for gas. It could be if he's picking up groceries. It could be if he's running and getting a haircut. Literally, it's just $100 for him to use um, on whatever he needs to use it for. So for him, I actually had a bunch of fives left over um, from last month. So I'm actually giving him mostly fives. I think I'm giving him, let's see, 120 and then 16 fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So this is gonna be his $100. Um, to spend and so that I'm just giving to Alvin. Okay, next up is the miscellaneous um, Miscellaneous I just put a hundred dollars in here and it could be used for anything in February I used it for eyeglasses um, And I am putting am I putting just nope. I'm putting 20s in here. So five twenties one four five Okay Okay, so now I have $100 in the envelope. Okay, after that it is household. And I also budget $100 for this and I did not have any money left over from last month. So this is empty. We're gonna go ahead and put more 20s. I think it's because I had 20s left over. One, two, three, four, five from last month. Normally I would do big bills in here, like $100 bills, um, but that's what I'm doing this month since I had all this leftover cash. Okay, so we've got $100 in our household. And then we've got pets. And so for pets, um, I did $40. This is for Graham, like to use for food or whatever. And we're doing two $20 bills for this. Um, I will have to get him food this month, I think. So this will be for his food. And then I will probably roll over this over the next few months. That way, if he needs to go to the vet or anything, then this money is already accounted for. Then last for my wallet, we have cosmetics. And I had budgeted $80 in here and I ended up not using any of it. So I just put it in the checking account, um, you know, to go towards savings or something else. Uh, I am not sure if I'm going to be using the $80 this month. The reason I budget $80 is for if like we need to get shampoo and makeup and you know, just all of that stuff all at once. A lot of that can, I mean, it's like $20 for razors, like come on. But um, since I didn't use it last month, um, I'm still gonna budget $80 and then we'll see what happens. I'm really just kind of like, I, I don't know what to budget for this one. I'm just picking a number, you know, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Okay, so we've got $80 in here. So these are all the ones that go into my actual wallet here. And then this is just for if I buy anything online, like say I buy um, like something for a pet, like his tent online, then I can put that pet money into the online shopping envelope and put it back into my checking account. So that's what the online shopping is for. There's no money in here. Um, I already deposited 
all of that. So those are all of my regular ones. Now we're going to fill my sinking funds. So my sinking funds are like savings envelopes that I'm using for the future. And let's see what's first. What's first is Christmas. I gotta find these because they're not in order. Okay, so we have Jackie's Christmas envelopes. So I am budgeting $25 per month. So that way when Christmas rolls around, I have this. And what did I put in here? I'm putting 120 and 15. Okay, so $25. And there's already 25 from last month. So that means I now have $50 in this envelope. Alrighty, so that's cool. Then for Alvin's, we're doing the same at $25. Um, so that way he also has $50 in here. Okay, there's 50 for Alvin's Christmas. Next we have Christmas for others. So this is literally just for anybody else that's not us. So if we are buying friends Christmas presents, family members Christmas presents, and so I'm actually doing $50 for other people's Christmas. So that way when Christmas rolls around, we can buy Christmas presents for other people. And I'm just putting a $50 bill in here along with the other one that's in here. So now we have $100 saved for other people's Christmases. Next we have date night. So this is date night slash anniversary. This is for Alvin and I to use for either of those instances. And I'm just budgeting $30. If we weren't in the middle of Corona, I would probably budget more than that. But since we are still in Corona, um, you know, we don't really get to go out and do stuff. So $30 it is, and I, we didn't use our $30 from last month, so there's gonna be $60 in here, okay? So we've got $60 in there. Then we have vacation. So this is our vacation fund. I budget $100 in here. So that way by the time next summer rolls around when we go on vacation, we'll have exactly the amount that we need to you know, actually go on vacation. You might have to budget more than this or less than this. It's kind of just like, however much you guys usually spend. We usually spend around $1,200 or so on our beach vacation. Um, so I already have $100 from last month and we're gonna go ahead and put a $100 bill in this one. So we've got $200 in our vacation fund. Okay, then we have Alvin's birthday and I'm just budgeting $10 a month for birthdays. So that way you'll have around you know $120 for a birthday. We don't spend a whole bunch of money um, when it comes to, you know, birthdays and stuff like that compared to what I've seen other people. I don't know. Maybe this is a lot of money to you guys. Okay. $10 in here. So we've got $20 and then for mine, it's the same, um, $10 on here. So there's me, if I can get this in here. Okay. So we've got $20 in here. Then next is home decor. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually saving, like I have a specific instance of when I want to use this and it's to buy a trundle slash day bed for my like office and for when people come visit us so that way we have extra bedrooms. And so I am saving a hundred dollars a month in home decor. So that way when I buy a bed and mattress and stuff like that, that's going to be a couple hundred dollars. And so that way I can wait until this is ready. And then once I have enough money, I can use this to buy those items. So we're doing $100 in this one. Is this my last 100, I think? Yeah, home decor. Okay, so now I have $200 in here. Alrighty, 200. Okay, next up is Costco. So I just got a membership at Costco and I haven't even been yet and I'm budgeting $75 a month. So I do wanna go to Costco this month cause I'll have $150 to spend. Um, I heard that doesn't get you very far. So I might have to up this or maybe wait until the third month to go. I'm not sure. I also don't know what I would even buy at Costco. Um, I hear a lot of people talk about it, but I think it's a lot of like extras. It's not like necessities but I guess you're spend, like you're saving money in the long run anyway. So for Costco, I'm doing $75 and I'm doing 150, um, 120 and five ones. One, two, three, four, five, okay. I already have $75 in here from when I filled it last month. 
So we've got $150 in here to spend on Costco, okay? Then we have clothing, which I'm budgeting $50 for clothing. That way when like summer rolls around, if Alvin and I need to buy some things for our wardrobe, we already have money saved for that. Um, so I think I just did a $50 for this. Okay, so we now have $100 in this clothing fund. Then next is haircuts, and I'm budgeting $50 in here, so that way I can go and get my hair cut and highlighted, and also Alvin gets his cut. We're doing $50 in here. Okay, so we've got $100 now saved for a haircut. I think next month, which would be perfect, it would be April, um, so you know, right in time for summer, I think I could go and get my hair cut and highlighted for the summer. That's really awesome, I'm excited about that. Okay, the last one is gifts for others, and we're just budgeting $25. I actually did use this. I had a friend's birthday in February, so I saved $25. I used $23 for her birthday, so there should be $2 in here, and there is. Um, and so the last 25 is going in here, so we're gonna have $27 in here. All right, $27. Okay, so those were all of my actual cash sinking funds and obviously the ones that I put for my, you know, day-to-day -day spending. And so if we look at my budget, we did the 1560 um, and then I already saved these ones in green in my PayPal account. Now, if I follow this to a T, I should have almost $3,000 left over to put towards all of our debt um, because this is one of the reasons why I'm budgeting so much is because of the debt. So you first start out with your income, you figure out how much income you think you're going to make. You take out all of your fixed bills, which are bills that just come out of my checking account that don't really change. It's like, obviously, you have to pay for your insurance and your internet and your phone. So those are all fixed. I had left over almost $5,000. And then I did my envelopes. So those are the ones that you saw in my actual wallet. So groceries, dining out, all of that kind of stuff. Um, those are things that obviously you can like cut down on and you know, maybe spend less if you want to save more So then I had almost four thousand dollars left over and then that's when I figured out all of my sinking funds that I wanted to save for so these are things that I'm saving for for the future and then what I had left over is what I want to put towards our debt payoff and yes this is a lot of money i understand that not everyone is going to be making as much money as we are but we both actually work we both have full-time jobs we've worked in our industry for years and have moved up and gotten promoted and i also earn money from youtube and other miscellaneous things so yes we do make a decent amount of money we also deserve to make this amount of money because we have worked hard to get here this is not gifted money this is money that we have hard earned ourselves and worked our way up to making this amount. Your budget is going to look different than my budget. And so obviously this is not what you're going to write down. You're going to figure out your own stuff for your budget. Once we have all of our debt paid off, I'm hoping to pay this off in one year. My goal is to have this paid off by January of 2022. Then this leftover money, I would like to put towards other things such as building a garage for our house, maybe saving for infertility medication and procedures because we have haven't been able to have kids for six years, maybe go, you know, going towards foster care, anything like that. You get to write out exactly how you want your budget to look. This is how mine looks. And this is exactly how I figured out exactly what number of bills I wanted to put in my sinking funds. All right, guys, that's it. You saw exactly how I stuffed all of my envelopes for March. You saw how much I'm saving towards certain things. You see how much I would like to put towards our debt each month. And at the end of this month, at the end of March, I will actually go through all of my things again and show you how much, you know, did I make my budget? Did I overspend? How much did I actually put towards paying off debt? Last month, I wasn't super great at that because cash envelopes was such a new thing to me. And I just kind of like jumped right into it. But now that I actually have my little tracking system where I can write down all of my expenses, 
I should be able to figure out exactly how much I'm spending towards each thing and give you an exact number. And that's how zero based budgeting works. Like you want to know exactly where you're putting every single dollar. And for February, since I was still really new to it, I honestly don't know where every single one of my dollars went. So I'm hoping to get better at that and really work on that for March. So that way I can give you guys an exact like depiction of where my money went and you know, all of the different factors. So I hope you guys are really excited. If you liked this video, let me know because I really enjoyed watching like everyone else's videos on YouTube where they're like stuffing their cash envelopes. I don't know what it's like therapeutic for me. And so I hope that you guys enjoy like watching me do it. I don't have like fancy long nails like everyone else, but when everyone else does it, it's really, really cool. Okay. That's it. You guys, I will see you guys very soon in another video. Bye everyone. Thank you.